how to create your own template in Cubase. With this concept, you can create a recording, mixing or mastering template depending on the kind of template you want to create. But for this tutorial, I'm creating a recording template and this approach can be useful for any other template you want to create. Yes. One of the reasons why you want to create template is because you want to speed up your workflow. Okay, imagine you um, are going every time you want to record, adding up the the audio, uh, the audio channels, everything, setting up your recording is going to take you a lot of time. So it's better for you to have a template you can just click on and all of your settings will be up. I'm using Cubase 10.5 for this tutorial and I think this uh, approach applies to the upgraded versions of Cubase. So if you are using the lesser version of Cubase, uh, you can try to upgrade your versions. Okay, with that being said, so we have a lot of uh, templates right here. These are templates you can choose from, but you can decide to create your own template, which we are going to do in this video. Click more, empty and create. Okay. Here you are going to select where you want to save your templates. I'm saving my template here. I'm going to save it inside my Cubase templates. Okay, I'm creating a folder inside my Cubase template. Select folder. Right click to add audio track. So in this part, you are going to make a little configuration because i'm going to use this as my instrumental uh, track okay and i want to make sure this part is set to stereo because if any instrument is panned to the left or right i can be able to achieve when i export my project if you select the mono so you cannot hear the uh the panning in the instrumental okay make sure you select stereo so that your export you can be able to hear the panned instrument okay i'm going to rename with instrumental add so if you want to give a visual uh, color to your project you can decide to color your um your tracks channels if i add my instrumental this is going to show me the color i have here for example the second step is to add your audio tracks talking about your lead vocal backup ad libs and your radio vocal so i'm going to right click add audio track another configuration this is also very important you are going to choose mono in this part because this is audio recording this is going to be on mono so that if the mixing engineer want to uh, pan any vocal to the left or right it's going to be accessible okay that is why you need to choose the mono configuration okay audio output stereo out enter name so I'll do later i'm gonna um i'm going to add the name i want on the track it can be a lead vocal um backup radio or ad libs i'm going to choose four four tracks i'm going to rename this as my lead vocal i want to group my vocal with the same color backup add lips and my radio vox so when you are done you can decide to add uh, some um, some plugins you normally use like the auto tune you can add auto tune auto tune artist you can leave this on default so whenever you want to record you can come and uh, set up your auto tune and sometimes i use eq also okay so i'm done with that 
so in the backup uh, section you can also add any effect you want to add same thing as an ad lib you make sure you set up your preset so after that you can add your fs channel my fs channel is my uh delay and my reverb because i don't want to add delay and reverb directly to my vocal i want to start changing them okay i want to make sure i uh, use a sense channel to give my vocals a uh, reverb and delay so i'm going to add a fs channel you're going to do a little configuration here so you're going to select your reverb and then uh, it's okay okay then give it a name reverb send so it's okay for the reverb so i have my reverb there so set up your reverb and the secondly i'm going to add my uh my delay this is going to be my delay send i'm going to use the Valhalla. delay send hard set up your delay and move on so i'm going to make sure i group both with same color so when you are done with your template creating go to file and save as templates okay this is where you input the name of your template since it's a recording template i'm just going to put recording template okay whenever you want to record with cubase your cubase is going to look like this go to more and select your template and start enjoying them this is how you can create your own template in cubase hope you love this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel and put your comment down below if this video is helpful to you